Now, as Mr. Yu just mentioned, the new FTA between Korea and Israel removes almost all the tariffs the two countries have on each other. Our Kim Dami has the details. After three years of negotiations, South Korea signed a free trade agreement with Israel in Jerusalem on Wednesday. The deal makes Korea the first Asian FTA partner of Israel. Korea will scrap 99.9 percent of tariffs on Israeli imports, and Israel will remove all tariffs on Korean products. That will help Korea's main exports, including automobiles, auto parts and cosmetics, to enter Israel without facing tariffs. Everybody drives Korean cars. <laughs> and I think it's also uh, the ability to have the technological exchanges that will give the uh, great advantage for the future. In return, South Korea mainly imports industrial equipment from Israel. South Korea will lift tariffs on Israeli equipment for chip production within three years, seeking to help local firms diversify their import portfolio. South Korea's trade ministry said the bilateral deal will help strengthen technological exchanges, including machines and biohealth. The two countries vowed to open up the service and investment sectors, as well as provide more leeway beyond the general agreement on trade and services under the World Trade Organization. Barriers on the sensitive agricultural goods, including rice and garlic, will still remain, but tariffs on Israeli grapefruits will be abolished in seven years. The FTA, however, will not cover Palestinian territories. The new trade deal is expected to boost bilateral trade, which recorded 2.7 billion U.S. dollars in 2018. It's expected to take effect in the first half of 2020 after a legal review, a signing ceremony, and a parliamentary ratification. Kim Dami, Arirang News.